Hopefully we don't accidentally blow ourselves up. Let's be honest. Very big chance that that happens. Yo! Hello, everybody. We're back to another episode of Seven Days to Die. Alpha 17. Today we return, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen, guys, I'm a fan for contesting day of the most amazing Friday. And today we are going to be making our way over trying to survive this new town. Hello, I like what I'm seeing. Trying to survive this new town that we have stumbled across. And today we're going to be checking out something that you guys uh whoop, 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 whoop. what is this what is this back it up back it up folks you're gonna kill me whoa home run baby but so uh, yeah welcome back everybody I hope you guys have seen a favorite fantastic day of nothing but the most favorite fantastic variety that only keeps on getting better whoop. from here on out whether that be from the video or from some other wonderful things going on in your life wishing y'all nothing but the happiest of times and biggest of smiles but today we're gonna hopefully be getting some rather a lot of smiles on our face because today 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 we are gonna be checking out a potential secret bunker. This was something I saw so many people... Co I see another bird. Something I saw so many of you guys commenting about. I want to explore it. I want to see what this whole shindig's about. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. There was a well. Oh, oh, back it up. Oh my God, I'm getting some good batting practice in today. Jeez Louise. But back to what I was saying before those multiple heart attacks we've experienced. There was a well we found just last episode. If you guys don't recall, we also survived the day seven of horde just last episode as well. It was pretty action packed with, uh, well, us realizing that the horde is a lot more formidable than ever before, but that's an entirely different story. But the big story is that there was a, a, a thing over here, a little well, and apparently, I saw this comment a lot, and that's why we're going to be checking it out. It appears that that well might lead to something a bit more secretive and awesomer than, uh, well, that thing that we're seeing right there. Water. So it was over here. I remember because we checked it out kind of in the beginning of us wandering into this town. That appears to be a kind of cool looking building. You might be checking that out. But if this is indeed some sort of like secret bunker or something, I don't know what it is. But a lot of you guys are just saying it's not what it seems. And that makes sense. Because who, who would lock their well? So hopefully we're not being bamboozled here. And hopefully that is indeed something over there for us to bask in. Uh, I know that we are over encumbered, by the way. I just don't want to ditch anything because I kind of like everything we have in our inventory right now. So after we explore this place, hopefully we could make it our home if there is indeed something down there. And if not, uh, hopefully we could find a nearby place to call home or at least a temporary base over here in this uncharted territory. And from what you guys are saying in that comment section as well, since I love taking input from y'all when it comes to going about our series so if you guys got any input at any point go ahead and drop that down below whether i'll be asking you guys explicitly or you might have some tips or tricks or general knowledge to go ahead and drop but we did learn was that uh what or i think the general game plan that we're going to be heading out with is kind of uh, so roughly i think at least the way like a lot of you guys were saying don't die because of like the awful penalties that you incur if and when you do die which is very true it is, this game is brutal to you if you decide to die because of that like awful like uh status effect that lowers some of your perk levels i don't want that to happen what i want to happen is uh, i think i'm gonna leave my sleeping bag back there if we die we die and then we can go back there and we want to come back here anyways. So then when we make that trek back, we'll have an empty inventory. We could fill it up with a bunch of stuff from the old base. So I think we're going to leave our sleeping bag going over there. Hopefully we could put a lot of our valuable stuff away. So if we die, there's not a chance that like our backpack disappears. Because some people were saying, now I don't know if this is true. I didn't was not able to fact check this. That apparently, uh, what should we call backpacks disappear after like an hour. I don't know how true that is. I've seen some, at least back in the day, back in the olden days, I found some really old backpacks that were around for much longer but maybe that's different but here is that thing that i was talking about the well now then mr well are you going to lead to nothing oh no it is not this well is going to lead to something a little bit more you guys saw it through those little holes i did i saw some interesting thing i didn't bring any way to chop this stuff down did i that I did not. Okay, so that's the important thing that I forgot. I knew something was missing, just didn't know what. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, whack some grass. You know, always when in doubt, uh, whack it out or something like that. I think that like might be some kind of phrase somewhere at some point. But what we want to go ahead and do is go ahead and break this thing right over here. And this should be our entryway into the secrets that this whale has to offer. And oh, a broken ladder as well. 
That's a little bit of a cheeky sign, if you ask me. So, uh, without further ado, let's hopefully not fall down all the way. Oh, we might need to fall a little bit. What is down here? Is this... Oh! A door. Okay, hold on. So, before we decide to fully go down, I still want to get stabbed, because these spikes hurt, dude. They are brutal nowadays. I just want to fall. Can I please... There we go. Break this spike so we can have a little bit of a safer landing. Can I break this one, too? Okay, yes, we can. And then, hopefully, just not get stabbed. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna break all of these. I'm not risking it. Spikes are brutal, okay? Like, maybe we could use these as future def base defenses or something. But whatever it is, thank you to you guys for pointing me out to this well. Over here, I'm just like your run-of-the-mill dude who's like, Oh, a well, this probably watered the village and fed their mouths with uh, hydration. But apparently, it was a little bit more than that. And, well, oh my god. Dude, what type of... Oh my god, dude, we're not... How... Oh man, that's going to be an expensive door to get into. Um... Hmm, okay, so I have an idea. Um... I don't know how good of an idea it is. Oh, are we stuck down here? Oh, bro, 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 no, no, no. Oh, good, we were able to parkour up, because I, I hear some footsteps. So I just want to take these dudes out. Is this a wandering horde? Nah, it's just a wandering loner. What up, loner? I got some bat for that beautiful little face of yours. And your face got some beautiful little death for the rest of yourself. I still hear some footsteps, though. The reason that I want to be careful is because we're about to do something very potentially bad. Uh, I'm pretty much planning on... Well... I, we don't have any good ways of getting in there. You know, we do have a rocket launcher. We got rockets. I... I think you guys may or may not see the way we're going with this because that door is hardcore. I don't know how to get into that, but I want to get into that and we are going to get into that. But first, we got to go and get into this dude's head and uh, break it a little bit here or there. And uh, well, let's go ahead and change to our uh, frag ammo. I don't know if that's going to... Ah, dude, I don't know if the fragmentation ammo is going to do as much damage. We'll see what it does, because we only have one normal rocket. We'll play it by ear. Hopefully, we don't accidentally blow ourselves up. Let's be honest. Very big chance that that happens. YOLO! All right. Took a little bit of damage there. Um, I'm going to eat some food to try and put the pain away, get in my belly back on the eggs. And we're going to assess the damages here and see just how much it did. Almost nothing. Wowzers! Well, I, as much as I'd love to break into this, guys, I'm not sure you understand. It's going to take a lot of breaking. Like, maybe we could break into these. Like, I, I guess, okay. Mm, there's a little bright side here. Now, this, this bright side could get us killed, but nighttime is about to hit. I'm, I'm, whoo, 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 whoo. That could have been bad. That could have been really bad. Uh, okay, there we go. We were able to parkour up. Uh, but since nighttime is about to hit, like, we need something to do. So, uh... We could just call this home for tonight. We'll live like hobbits out here in the hole in the ground. <laughs> Little gopher. We'll start a gopher army. And uh, just try to break through there manually. So let's make sure. Because we've got plenty of wood, plenty of stone to craft up more axes. Uh, why don't we go ahead and get more of these. I, I think I'm just going to like edit through this. But we're going to slowly break into there. And see what the other side has. I don't want to break the door though. That's a really nice door. Well actually it doesn't like... We're never going to be able to unlock the door, though. That is the problem. But that door has a lot of health, too. But then we only need to break the door once. Probably once the door is broken, we should be good to go. But on the other hand, the thing that worries me a little bit is that uh, if we break that doorway, right, there there might be zombies on the other side, which is why I'm a little bit skeptical of doing this at nighttime. But we got to do what we can over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get that storage chest to craft it up so we could at least start putting some of the stuff away and we're not super over encumbered. And also because yeah, I'll just toss you on over there. Also, because I'm not planning on shooting any more high explosives here. That's the good news. We'll go ahead and just put a ton of these things away. Uh, but what I am planning to do is starting to kind of build a little bit of a base up here. And I would like to go and maybe do a little bit of looting here before nighttime does fully come. And then we'll probably patch this place up with some wooden frames up top and hopefully zombies don't decide whoop, whoop, don't decide to pay attention to us god dang it dude whoo, 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 whoo. dude i gotta get some like hay bales or something down here to soften my fall or maybe just craft the rest of this ladder nah i like the challenge let's be honest here it's a fun one nope okay dude i've been able to do this a couple of times here like come on now. oh okay it's because you're not supposed to jump your guy can just Walk up that. Okay, well, 
I guess I've been looking like a dingus this entire time. Luckily for you guys, that's my expertise. I majored in dingitude. Well, actually, no, I'm majoring in computer science right now, but I'm, uh, I'm, okay, let's be honest here. I got a double major at this rate. I, I'm, I got my first major beforehand, that major, of course, being the major of derpitude, and then, uh, well, I've kind of, uh, moved on to, hello, Mr. Man in the Rafters, and then I've kind of moved on to trying to, uh, major in something else. Is this... <laughs> This dude's headbutting this. <laughs> He's headbutting that board. <laughs> oh my god, this zombie is not the brightest fella. Let me just say, I'm not the best at Al. Okay, I'm, I should not make fun of the people I'm trying to hit. He is not the brightest fella, though. <laughs> it literally just looked like he was headbutting that board, dude. <laughs> that was hilarious. <laughs> I love this game, man. There's no other way to put it. It's just lovely. All right, though. We managed to parkour our way up here. We are a little bit thirsty. I didn't bring... I... No. Mm. Okie dokie. Problemo numero uno. Encountered. I don't have water. Uh, okay, so maybe that should be our goal for tonight. Any water nearby? Well, well God, God dang it. Of course the well doesn't have water. How ironic is that? We're going to be living in a well tonight. And we don't have any freaking water. <laughs> The nearest water that I'm seeing is a little bit of a runaway. I, it's, how low are we on water here, realistically? What is, you are thirsty, drink water to increase your health and stamina recovery. Uh, it's, I just, ha, ha, That might not be happening tonight. We might be going a little bit thirsty, but that's okay. But yeah, I'm not, I don't want to venture into that house fully either. I don't want to wake any sleeping beasts that might be within. I will, however, be happy to loot up a couple of these other minor buildings kind of around it and see what these have to offer. Hello, people in rafters. No, no people in lefters. Okay, that's good. I was totally expecting that a little bit. Let's get these chairs. Uh, something good in the cooler. Water? Corn. And any other minor places we could loot up? I do plan on looting up this house at some point. This looks to be a pretty big and formidable one. And this is, this well might be a good place to call home, but, dude, what's on the other side of that thing? That's, that is all that I want to find out right now. That is just gnawing at my mind. I need to know. Oh, I know that someone's on the other side of this. So let's go. Let's get that stone axe back, baby. Hello. Guten Tag, my friends. Where are you? Come on. I saw them starting to break this door. Where are you guys at? Oh, don't break the car. What the car ever do to you? At least let me loot it first. Did I hear someone fall down? Oh, 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 oh. They're above. Oh my god! Alrighty. Well, the zombies took care of themselves by the sounds of it. <laughs> Dude, today is the episode of Derpy Zombies. That's just that's that's the theme that I'm noticing so far. First we got zombies headbutting wooden boards. Next they're freaking blowing up cars that they're chilling on. These dudes are wild. What are you doing up there, man? Come on, do I need to shoot you down from there? I do want to loot this place up. Boop! Oh, big hit. What are you trying to break into? I'm down here, girl. I I don't think she got the memo that I'm not up there, did she? Well, I might be able to, like, parkour up there by some miracle. If we could maybe, like, whoop. No, I don't think so. Whoop! Nah, that's not happening. I don't want to waste arrows on her either. Like, she's not worth it. Hey, eat arrow! Right into Boutte. Come on, come on, come on. Just, just come down here. Battle me! Okay, doesn't matter. She don't need to battle. She did. Uh, yeah, so they kind of blew up the car that was in here. Hopefully I didn't blow up any loot. <laughs> I can't believe that that happened, man. These guys are just the biggest derps I've ever seen. This might not be a shabby place to call home either, but nighttime is about to hit, so why don't we go and uh, hole ourselves up for the night. I don't, want to, I don't want any zombies to notice what's going in there. I don't hear any zombies. I don't see any zombies, so I think we'll be safe. But I do just want to make sure that we ourselves are safe, so we're going to be patching this bad boy up. And hopefully zombies won't be coming to bother us. And how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to just kind of put a couple of wooden frames here or there. Let's whoop, 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 whoop. Okay, there goes the leg. I didn't need that anyways. Well, that's not good. Uh, can I at least patch up this hole? You know, make sure zombies don't come down here. That'd be great. Please, thank you. All right, there we go. I'll, I'll just, I'll put that right there. Yeah, I'll put that right there. Okay, okay. Um, so a splint, you say? I I don't think I can do it. I need cloth frag and duct tape. Well, this leg is looking like it's going to be broken for a little while longer. For an hour to be safe, exact. Well, luckily, we don't have anywhere to go at the moment. 
that is the bright side of all this. Oh, you know what's a poopy side? It's kind of dark in this hole, and we could craft up a camp. Yeah, let's get a campfire going. I think that'll be a decent thing to get us some light in here. We could be productive. We bought cooking pots. Kind of start building our underground empire that we will uprise and take over the world above. Hopefully we got enough uh, plant fibers and stuff to last. How many do we pick up? And hey, where are my plant fibres at? Hello? Did I put them? Oh, I probably put them in here, right? 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 Okay, good. Whew. I was kind of worried. I didn't see them in my inventory. I'm like, God dang it. Don't tell me I misplaced those things again. All right. Uh, let's get this fire going over here. We got plenty of wood to spare. We got a cooking pot over there. And nothing to cook. Did not think this one through all the way, did I there? Um, no, I did not. Well, that's okay. I need some light anyway. We'll turn that on. And maybe we'll wake up some zombies on the other side who then will help us out, you know? Because then, I, I don't know. We don't need to break all of this wall because it's going to take a while. So, uh, well, this is not going to be spending my night. I will let you know if and when we make anything even close to significant progress on breaking into this mysterious door and the contents within. Already out of stamina, this is going to be a long night. And all right, lads, as you can see, the daytime is coming, but, well, we haven't quite entirely gotten through this doorway yet. We're, we're trying though, boys, but uh, we've also been really dehydrated, which has been kind of putting a dent into things. So I think we might try and, uh, try being the key word attempt to fix this because there's a couple things we need to do first now fix this dang leg that one might be a bit of a problem though because that is going to require can we even climb up this okay we can good uh fixing our leg is going to oh man it's, it looks spooky and dark uh fixing our leg is going to require some cloth luckily we got glue so the big deal is just going to be getting some cloth so we're just going to try and salvage some clothes and we'll be able to make the ban uh we don't need bandages but we'll be able to uh what you call make other things actually can i scrap this for cloth Oh, I can. Let's freaking go. That's what I needed. Screw, screw the bandages, man. I'll, we'll make more later down the line. We need that duct tape right now. And then, Mr. Splint, can you be my... Let's freaking go. Those bandages gave us just enough to splint this dang thing. Bless up for that. That's at least one thing that'll kind of be healing and kind of helping us out. Uh, the next thing, though, that I was talking about is trying to get some water, and that's going to be coming so we can try to uh, stop being dehydrated. It's not a fun life, and I think our best bet for that, I, it's, I don't know if it, there might be a closer way, but the only way that I'm seeing on the map, the closest, hello, Horde. All right, you know what? We're probably best that we get out of here for a little bit anyways. We don't want these guys stumbling down into our hole and that wonderful progress that we are making. So let's just go ahead and make ourselves a slight detour where we will try to fill up some of those empty water bottles so that we got... Oh, is that for my dehydration? I think it is. God dang it. But we're going to try to go ahead and fill up some of those empty water bottles that I got. Let's make sure that I don't die to anything. Uh, where's my AK at? Did I put that away? I think I put it away. All right, so SMG protection it is, but just do that to make sure that we can start getting our uh, hydration up because being this thirsty does affect our stamina regeneration, and if we're trying to break through a 7,000 health door... Probably want a little bit of stamina, but I don't know. That's 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 just me. Maybe I'm the crazy one here. Who knows? Bookcase got anything good? Ooh, a magazine for 30 minutes. This grants you one level of the perk plus one level of the agility attribute. I will take that and maybe use it down the line. That that could come in handy depending on the perk that hello nurse that it represents. But anyways, back on woods towards this giant body of water over here. I think it's gonna be right across the road here. Then we'll make our way back. Uh, we do need to get our maximum health back, though, because that's dropping like crazy. I think from the de- Yeah, it is dropping because of the dehydration. Uh, that's not good, because we still got to go home and boil this as soon as we get it filled up. So let's try and make this a quick little journey. Let's get these glass jars. Uh, fill them up. Fill them up. And then let's also get these empty cans and make sure that we fill up everything that we can with whatever containers that we have at our disposal. And wow, we're actually dying really quick. Um, okay, this could be bad. Uh, do we try and loot up some water? Cause we're really dropping low here on the health. This dehydration dude, I don't get why it's freaking, why is this happening already? Because like, I'll, I'll show you guys in a sec, but our hydration level is only below 25%. Like it shouldn't be that bad. 
Uh, I think we'll be able to get this boiled in time. I hope we're going to be able to get this boiled in time. Let's make sure that we're actually going the right way here. We got to get back into our hidey hole and back on track here. But uh, it's, our, our health is dropping, but I think we'll be okay. And then I know I said I like to keep our med kits and use those for uh, whatchamacall. I like to use our med kits mainly for when we're actually like in battle and stuff. But in this case, we might need to hold off and just use one of the med kits normally to make sure that we don't like I, I, just, I don't know, man. Having 29 health max, that's not a good situation to be in. That was kind of uh, the beginning of the series for a little bit. Let's please not. Oh, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put that down there just to make sure that, okay, we're on the ladder. We are on the ladder. Life is good. Look at that. We made it down here nice and easy peasy. Hopefully the Zambies don't start making their way over here. Let's try and get sneaky deaky like. And why don't we toss. Oh, it sounds like they're close. Dude. I hope that they don't start breaking into here. That would just be annoying to deal with. Don't do this to me, Gabe. Don't do it, please. Let's go ahead and let's get that bottled milky water cooking. And the reason I'm scared that they might start coming down here is because of... Well, A, I hear them. And B, I'm doing this. Which isn't good. And I think that maybe our health might cap out at 25. So even though we're dying of thirst here... And nothing too awful is going to happen. And oh, bless up. We already got some water up in our belly. That'll be a big help. And then I think I'm going to... Is it the most productive use of the daytime? No. But I want to see what's in this freaking place, man. Because I think this... We're, I think we're going to call this place home. Because it, it just looks legit. Like down here, there's plenty of like pretty cemented walls. And if we just get a good door going, we should have like a, some pretty nice stuff going for us. But... All right, our water's going good. Our max health is increasing. Life is good. Actually, is, is drinking the water increasing our max health? I'm not sure. No, I think it just recovered a bit because we're no longer dying from lack of uh, lack of stuff. So that's good. Let's go and get these bad boys cooked up as well. And after that, we'll let that turn off. Here's what else we're going to do too. We're going to start breaking. Hold on, we're going to reorganize things a little bit here. We're going to continue breaking into here because... Drinking water also regenerates our stamina, so it'll be an easy way once our stamina totally dies down uh, We'll just be able to drink some water and continue making our way into here You guys can see that the door is getting rather dinked up, so Things are gonna get interesting We're gonna find out the secrets that this thing may hold and as you guys are seeing the fact that we're no longer dying of thirst lets us hit this so much more often so yeah, the fact that we were thirsty over nighttime kind of uh, was very annoying. And that's why we couldn't break through it. Because, the, like, we were getting, like, maybe 10, 20 hits tops in before our guy got exhausted. Look at me now. That's not the case. We are, we've, we haven't stopped holding down the thing. So, long story short, the fact that we were thirsty kind of derailed the nighttime a little bit. But we still got a little bit of breaking to go. But we are about to have a wonderful little secret bunker to break into so i'm gonna go ahead break through the rest of this and talk to y'all in a sec and here we go ladies and gentlemen the final oh of course we start running out of stamina right then the final stretch before this door come on can i get the last hit in why, why are you not hello oh of course the, the freaking the, the stone axe needs repairs when there's one hit left welcome to the secrets that this bunker will hold and hello precious i like what i am seeing this could very well be a formidable little home oh my god more of the okay we're not breaking into those for a minute i've broken through enough extremely locked doors this this i could maybe break into this shouldn't be too outrageous but jesus man those vault doors are brutal to break into I wonder if that's an entrance into the house. Like, I wonder if the house that we're by also leads into this or whatever. But for now, let's continue exploring what this bunker has to offer in all of its secretness. I saw a couple of interesting crates, but mainly, I see a very nice place to call home. Like, this could be kind of... If we build our base starting at the well, like, this could kind of serve as our basement. And a very nice basement at that. I think that that might be the game plan. Let me know what you guys think regarding this, but... I, I, I kind of, ooh, shiny, but I kind of like that strategy. I think it'd be awesome to have this be our basement. It gives us a whole bunch of room for activities. We could focus at the top of the floor on just like, I, I don't even know, just like being our actual base filled to the brim with defenses. And this thing is probably caked in super uh, strong types of materials and stuff. So it, it could just turn out very, let's go. 
This is really good. That brings us one big step. We still need that freaking bench, but that brings us a big step towards the mining helmet. We got a football helmet. As long as we keep that thing in decent condition, we'll be looking good. Oh, that's a window right there. Didn't see that. That's like those. It's like when you run into a screen door that you don't see right there. Uh, but this has got to be leading to something. Maybe we'll try to break into that. Maybe that'll be our next nighttime project. We'll try to break into the contents of whatever that one holds. Just trying to see if there's anything like secret up top. But dude, that is dope. Ooh, we got another door over there. Like I'm saying, we got a couple of these boxes we could go ahead and explore. So let's do that. But ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say welcome to what I think will be the basement. And for now, the base of our future base because this is it it's just so nice another football helmet it's so deep underground it's gonna be hard for zombies to get down here we already have like a built-in way up through that ladder we just got to kind of protect that well and it's dude this is awesome thank you guys so much for pointing out that this well had a little bit more going on than at first meets the eye because thanks to that uh, i think we've kind of found a hello that's some good stuff, but we've kind of found a place to at least begin calling home for now. And I wish I didn't put those ch I wish I didn't put that chest down over there cuz now we can actually start decking this place out with some chests. But I think what we're going to do is I'm, I'm going to see what's on the other side of that. I wish there was some way we could freaking pick through locked doors, but I think for now what we're going to try and do is try to make like this back area. I think this is where we will make our future storage chests starting with this one right here. But uh, the reasoning for that being that this one's as far away as possible, pretty much, from the ladder over there. So it'll just be kind of like, I think it'll be convenient to be able to like, I don't really know how to describe it. But we, we'll be able to put a lot more stuff between us and over there. We're going to replace this glass with something a little bit more than that. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, this is looking like the beginnings of something very very promising we got a solid foundation we just gotta deck it out with different types of materials and whatnot we still got even a bunch of cupboards and whatnot dude that is a futuristic looking fridge or maybe that's a vintage looking fridge something like that but dude, this is just gonna be great we should be able to scrap a lot of these actually and get uh what should we call we should be able to uh the words escaping me get i think it's electric parts or electronic components something like that hello toilet how do you do you got a pistol for me nah just murky water can i fill up hold on is that still a thing can i fill up my glass jars in the toilet please baby no no that's not a thing i don't think that's been a thing for a minute but i just want to double check you never know better safe then sorry we got some garage storage with a whole ton of nothing that's not very happy to see. That's a really nice TV. Ooh, cardboard box. Ooh, ooh. structural brace. But yeah, I think uh, we might be watching some TV over here. I'll, I'll try to toss on my own YouTube videos over there. We'll try to like build up an editing station somewhere in here. But uh, let's see what's behind the final door. And for the most part, the tour of the place that we're calling home. Except for that secret door, which like I'm saying, I think is going to be like a nighttime project of ours, so to speak. And I might try to go topside soon. And I think this might be the bathroom. Room. Yeah, but I might try to go topside soon and make sure that these zombies aren't trying to break into here and they don't damage the place too much because we haven't really had a chance to build defenses up there, dude. I think we're going to be kitting out that turret or like that well with a whole ton of good things. But yeah, I don't know where these zombies are, but this appears to be the bathroom. Here we got some medicine cabinets with some really nice medicine. Let's go. Not just that we get some roids. We also happen to get ooh, some more cooking pots, but we also just so happen to get some first aid kits and acid. I don't know what we could use acid for. Hello. Grandpa's learning elixir. Learn twice as much, twice as met fast, or something like that. Dog food and ad- what? Moonshine, dude! We can start our own distillery down here. All because of acid. Well, I-I-I hope that- it, I'd- hopefully that isn't too bad for us. <laughs> but so far, guys, I am liking this place we're calling home. Thank you, thank you. This right here is the beginnings to something amazing. We still gotta figure out what's on the other side of this door. The vault of our bunker, but we'll go ahead and do that over the next night time. But with that sort of, with, with, with that sort of that done, and that's going to wrap it up for this episode of 7 Days to Die Alpha 17, now that we have a new place to call ours. When we return, we're going to be doing some kind of shenanigans around here. Exactly what? I don't know. I think I'll, like, if you guys have anything specific you guys want to see me do, go ahead and let me know. I'm thinking within the next couple of days, we try to make a trip to the trader, talk to him a little bit, but I think there's that shotgun messiah over here we might try to loot up. Like, there's definitely a 
couple of notable locations. If there's any specific ones you want to see looted, let me know because as you guys saw today, I love taking advice from you guys because that's what makes this series so amazing. The fact that we're working together to create something great. And thanks to you guys, well, we have the foundations to really create something dope. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are as well. But with that sort of that note, that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole time for watching. Hope so it's an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.